Hey guys, so wherever you are in the world, Merry Christmas. So here in Australia, I am still very much in the Christmas movie mood. Even though Christmas is technically over in a little over an hour, I've been watching Christmas movies basically all day and I am so, so sick of the normal movies like Home Alone and The Grinch. You know those movies, we've all seen them so many times before. So I started to look up some movies that are set around Christmas time that aren't technically Christmas movies and I thought, hey, I might as well put them on a list and make it into a video for those of you that might be like me and wanting to find some movies that aren't so typical. So if you've got any that you can think of that I haven't put on this list, please let me know in the comments down below because I would genuinely like to hear them so I can give them a watch as well. So if you want to see more videos like this or movie reviews and trailer reactions, please subscribe to my channel. So the first one on this list is Trading Places. So Trading Places is a classic movie starring Dan Aykroyd, Jamie Lee Curtis and Eddie Murphy from 1983. So Basically, it's about this really rich, like, Wall Street type guy who gets traded places in this life switch social experiment with Eddie Murphy, who is basically a homeless beggar man. It's sort of a weird plot to describe, but basically there is these two rich guys who, well, I'm not going to say evil, but they're really, really dodgy anyway. So there's these two dodgy rich guys and they want to do this social experiment to see if you have this really well-educated, well-bred man and have him and his life and all his circumstances switched with a man who hasn't had much of an education, is homeless, but give him the, the same opportunities in life that this other man had, how would he go? Would he rise to the occasion or not? And it's a really interesting movie from... A psychological standpoint and yeah it's one of my favorite movies to watch around this time of year but well I don't really watch it every year because I don't want to get sick of it like I have The Grinch and all of those movies but yeah it is a good movie so I would recommend giving it a watch so the rest of them are probably really well known I'm sure you've all heard of Gremlins so Gremlins we've got the cute little fuzzy but slightly creepy creatures that wreck havoc at Christmas time. So this is another movie from their like 90s, 80s period of time. I'm not sure the exact year it was made, but it is a really good movie. And um, I just feel like this is a movie that couldn't be remade or rebooted because so much of it is wrapped up in nostalgia and the fact that it was in that period of time. Well, to me anyway. So the third one, I know, I know, we've all heard this, Die Hard. Like, do I even need to say anymore? Everybody knows what Die Hard is about. It is a movie that I have to admit I am sick of. I couldn't watch it this year because I've just seen it too many times, but it is a good movie. It's just got the perfect blend of action and humour, and it was just one of those classic 90s popcorn Arnold Schwarzenegger type movies that unfortunately they just don't make anymore because we're not so focused on really macho men, unfortunately. Anyway, number four, my last movie is Batman Returns. So I have to admit, I forget the actor's name that played Batman, but I really don't like him. There's something about his portrayal of Batman I really don't like, but... Yeah, it's still a really good movie because it's by Tim Burton and I love Tim Burton movies. I love the Batman universe in general. I love Michelle Pfeiffer, Michelle Pfeiffer, what am I saying? Her portrayal of Catwoman in this is iconic. It's absolutely amazing. She made this movie. And Danny DeVito as the Penguin is just so, so, so disgusting. But at the same time, he does a great job. 
And it's just not like any other version of Batman that I've ever seen. Obviously, it's by Tim Burton, so it's going to be a little bit weird, a little bit twisted, and I love it. It works so well. Imagine if they had Heath Ledger's Joker with Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. Like, that would just be amazing. Anyway, it's set at Christmas time, and Christopher Walken does a great job as the villain in this movie. So I highly recommend that you guys see that and yeah, let me know your Christmas movie recommendations and please comment down below, like, subscribe, all of that sort of stuff. Thanks guys and have a Merry Christmas.